Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on solving a trivia equation here. We have a tangent of x here. Let's move the x equal to minus 1. So basically we're finding angle such that tangent of the angle is equal to minus 1. There's a couple approaches to this one. Let's take a brief look or overview how it looks like. Tangent is sine over cosine. So that's one way you can remember. So when both x and cosine and positive, both of them are positive, we have a positive value. And when both of them are negative, we also have a positive value for tangent. So basically, our value for minus 1 angle lies into the quadrant 4 and quadrant 2. Okay, that's one thing you can do. Another thing to do is draw a unit circle, take a brief look like tangent is sine over cosine when it's equal to 1. So it's a multiple of 45, basically. Since it's a minus 1 and we know it's in quadrant 2 and 4, here's one angle. So one termination arm is over here. Okay, and The other termination arm is over there. So if you were to rotate counterclockwise, you would get this angle. If you rotate clockwise, it's this angle. So you do have two arms two terminating arms that would give you the same tangent. Okay, One more thing to do that's what we're going to do here is actually drawing a tangent curve. Tangent curve is not difficult if you remember the relationship that it's sine x over cosine x. So basically whenever cosine x equal to 0, the tangent x quote unquote blow up. So cosine curve looks like this. It happens at 2 pi. So the first thing when it hits 2 pi, tangent x goes upward. Okay, so basically, this pi over 2 over here and it goes down and comes back up. Okay, so that's the curve for minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. And the periodicity is pi. So next the one over here is 3 pi over 2. Let's draw it over here. And then the curve goes down this way. And let's draw one more arm. I'm running out of room here. So this is uh, 4 pi over 2. Okay, so it comes down sweeping this way. Okay, now this is the y-axis. When y is equal to minus 1, I'm going to draw a line here. And then from here, we see there's an angle here, and there's an angle here. Okay, Let's call this point A, call this point B. And let's see what point A and point B are. Okay, So point A is 45 degrees away from a pi over 2. So here's pi over 2. You're going to cover pi over 4 over. So basically, this one is... 45 degrees uh, plus, let's see, 45 plus, so this one is uh, 4, uh, 3 pi over 4, so this is A. It's 45 degrees and add 90 degrees, so it's 135, so basically 135 degrees. Let's take a look at where point B is. Point B is at 3 pi over 2, or actually it's easier to go from the other way. So it's uh, 4 pi over 2, it's really just 2 pi minus pi over 4. So you're moving in pi over 4. This gives you 8, 7 pi over 2. So this is what point, point B is. So basically 360. We're going to subtract 45. That gets you 315 degrees. 315 degrees. So here's the two angles. Okay. Um, let's see anything else I want to see. So I guess the most important thing is everything stem from the definition tangent x equal to sine x over cosine x. And from there, you can duplicate it with a curve looks like for tangent. Okay. From there, are you drawing minus 1 and then the reference is at pi over 2 and 2 pi and you subtract pi over 4 which is the reference angle because tangent of pi over 4 gives you 1. 
And then it learned earlier, we did the quadrant analysis in quadrant two and quadrant three. We have a positive quadrant two and quadrant four, we have a negative. All right, so overall, this is an interesting problem. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me for more updates on this channel. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.